Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, CP scripting. CP scripting, how to do the regular expression, how to use the regular expression in CP script to extract some values from header or uh, header. So there are multiple requirements like uh, when you are sending some invite, you have to copy the other headers and you have to paste in a new header. Uh, so these kind of things you can do with the regular expressions. So how this regular expression works I am going to discuss it today. So uh, Before starting friends here. I have uploaded few more videos related to CP uh, So how the USC US work how to do the regression testing all this I have uploaded here so you can view these videos as well uh, so and the related videos are like uh, related to C web RTP so to do CP programming you must know the C web and all these have a, a good understanding of these are required so uh, please go through these videos as well so let's start friend today's topic uh, so what is a regular expression and how it works in CP so CP provides a, a regular expression uh, tag which you can use for regular doing the regular expression now here I will show you an example uh, how regular expression you can uh, extract the contact header so what I will do in basically <coughs> if you see uh, see messages so there is a requirement that uh, when you send an acknowledge back to the uh, acknowledge back to the uh, uh, UAS uh, if your CP is working as a UAC so when you send the acknowledge back to the UAS you have to copy uh, if uh, you have to copy the contact uh, path whatever contact you have received from the uh, UAS you have to copy that contact and you have to send it in back in acknowledge so here you see the difference is here that I have not copied it from the uh, contact uh, header and uh, I have sent it as per my settings so this is not correct actually so you have to con you have to copy it from the contact header and you have to send it uh, in acknowledge header so to do this what you can do how the regular expression will be useful here so let's see here <coughs> so CP provides a regular expression uh, tag so this tag you can uh, you can mention what to search for so here search in what search in header you can mention which header to search so here is the option to uh, which header you want to search like I want to search the contact header so uh, so here you can mention the assign to which variable you can mention the variable name where you want to assign this value extracted using the uh, regular expression uh, so these are the parameters of regular expression tag uh, CP regular expression tag so here the important thing uh, search in which header and which uh, search in what context and which header so these are the tags you can mention so as I mentioned uh, as I mentioned I will search in 200 ok contact header so here when I see here I sent an invite I got 100 trying back 183 180 ringing then I go receive 200 ok so in inside 200 ok I want to uh, uh, search the contact header I want to uh, extract uh, the contact header IP and port so here I have to add an action so inside the uh, I have received tag 200 ok received tag then then 200 ok receive is closed here so inside 200 ok I am extracting the contact IP so to do this I have to add an action here so here I have action tag so inside action tag I will add the regular expression tag so here I have added the regular expression tag now how what regular expression I will put here so to do this I have to check the header here so 200 ok the contact is like this see colon number at the rate IP colon port 
so i have to put the regular expression like this if i want to copy the uh, uh, ip and port from this uh, from this header so what i am doing here so i know that <coughs> what is the regular expression so with the ip regular expression is like this the number one two three so uh, the possible uh, possible value of ip is like 172 that means length can be one two three and uh, and three dots dot 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 colon port so it it is like this only so i have to put zero to nine possible numbers are there so then dot then zero to nine then dot then zero to nine one two three value length can be one two three then dot then again zero to nine one two three value then dot then colon port what is the port length this we can put it here so the complete regular expression look like this uh, the ip regular expression so number then the length dot number length dot so for and so this so what i am doing here is i am just searching this regular expression in uh, 200 ok contact header so it matches with the if it matches with this uh, this ip and port combination it will copy this ip and port to this one variable so this is what is happening here so here i have uh, copied the ip and port combination to one variable so what i will do next is here in the acknowledge when i will send back the acknowledge this uh, variable i will use the dollar one variable i will use in acknowledge and i will send back the acknowledge so let's uh, see so this is already done so let's run this uh, and see the traces how it works so my previous trace what it happened is i just sent it according to my settings i didn't follow the 200 ok contact header but now i will run it again and i will follow the contact header So here is my regular expression dot xml i am using for uh, testing this so i sent an invite uh, i got 200 okay and i sent the acknowledge back so this is what i have captured in uh, captured in trace so here is the trace after the regular expression so here you can see that 200 okay i receive 172 1615 this by this so the same thing i have sent it back in acknowledge so this is how the regular expression works so due to this regular expression the header has changed here so this is dynamic uh, so this is how you can uh, you can dynamically copy the values how can you, you do the scripting here cp scripting like this uh, so this is mostly useful when you want to copy some from number to number or even it is useful where you have proxy authentication or registration where you want to copy the um, copy the proxy authentication response header and you have to put it in the new invite or new register so these cases these kind of regular expressions are useful where you have to copy the username password realm all these things and you have to put it in the new invite or new register so these regular expressions are very useful there so there are various other uh, kind of uh, things are available based on your testing purpose or requirement you can copy this use this regular expression so friends this is all about regular expression in cp hoping you like this video so friends uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like share this video as well so if you subscribe to this channel you will get a notification here when i will upload a new video so you will uh, you will be keep updated uh, so friends thank you thank you for watching my video